that's cranking up. Just want to remind you of something that people might not think about. With all the stuff that's going on with the COVID-19, uh, with people acting up the way they are, uh, with the riots and stuff like that, um, and with the presidential 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 election up in the air, well, Joe Biden is not in the air for him. He he thinks he's going to be the next president. But we'll see. Uh, with all that going on and all the other things going on in the world, uh, there's a lot of fear uh, because of the COVID, of course, 19. Uh, people having to endure lockdown, unnecessary not down, lockdown. I thought it was some crazy words. Uh, one thing we can be sure of that the Lord is in control even when we are not in control he will always be in control and um, we can count on that why? because he said so where did he say so? he said so in his word that's why because Jesus Christ died for us while we were still yet sinners he died for us and that he would come to this earth and he did as a man and he would save us from our sin if only we would have faith in him for what he's done for us <coughs> because it's God's character and his love and his grace to redeem those he, he created who he has created because he knows that in and of ourselves we are totally um, we can't we can't be self-sufficient without him. We really can't be a, a, a nation in this country, you know, within a nation. We we can't be a nation without God. We must have God in all things. And we can sit out there. We can say, um, one nation under God and God we trust. And that's the right thing to say. But if you don't mean it in your heart by faith in Jesus Christ, you can say God this, God that, God bless us, but you got to have that faith in Jesus Christ for it to work. You have to have trust and faith in Him that what you say from your mouth is that your faith in Jesus Christ is what um, causes God to bless this country and what you would say in God we trust you have to know that there's God and there's the Jesus Christ the God man the God who came in the flesh and died for all men there's God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit these three are one and um, the Son came that we might have life in heaven more abundantly we might have it eternally and we can say in God we trust and, and if God bless the United States of America, one nation under God, all we want. But if we don't have a living relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, all these words are just vain. They don't mean anything. So it's got to mean something by your faith. It can't mean anything if it doesn't have faith to back it up. You see a lot of Democrats out there, and I'm not talking about every single one of them. I'm talking about those on the left, streams. They do all these things and they say, God bless America and God we trust and this, that, and the other. You know, there are a lot of them out there, though, who are not believers. There are a lot of them out there who are believers. And I'm talking about in Jesus Christ. There are a lot of things going on in this world that we can't believe what's going on. But it takes a person of faith to understand and see that even though this such and such thing happens, even though that bad thing happens, this bad thing happens, that those of us who are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, what he did for us, we're not going to be moved, even though it does get scary sometimes, with whatever disease there is, whatever malady there is, whatever's going on, it gets scary. But our faith and our trust has to be in Him for what He's done. 
because he first loved us. Before we can ever love God, God first loved us. If God didn't love us, he wouldn't have created us. If he didn't want us to be his children, he would not have created us. You know what I mean? But because of faith in Jesus Christ, we are his children. Not by anything we can do or say, as what he said and did. What he said in his word, what he did through his word. What he's done for you and me by dying that death that we deserved, not him. The Son of Man did, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. But anyway, things look worrisome. And there's a lot more persecution going on. <laughs> Maybe not the persecution as of yet that there are in other countries here in America, but who's to say that won't come? And even if it does come, you know, the child of God stands like a bold, courageous lion, while others who are not saved, who others, others who don't believe, are fearful. And um, they're cowards because they don't trust the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. And I was going to do a follow-up video, video on cowardice, fear, godly fear, and man fear. I'm still going to do that, but I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Um, we're going through a little couple, couple things. So anyway, I just want to put that reassurance out there for any of you who don't think that we're going to get through all this. We are. The books have been written. The book has been written rather what God has said in this book what's going to happen what's going to come to pass it's going to come to pass every knee shall bow down to the Lord Jesus Christ and worship him you know <coughs> confessing that he is Lord God to, to the um, glory of the um, to the glory of God the Father <coughs> but um these things will happen and are going to happen without a doubt you might not believe it. You might not. You just might go about your daily business and say, "Oh well, when I die, so when I die, I worry about men." We live for from one day to another, each second of our lives. Whether we worry, whether we're anxious, whether we're, um, you know, whatever happens in our lives, we all seem to live within our lives and not pass it. You know, it's good to live from what you have for right now, but to consider what's coming you know if you're a child of God what you have and you can always fall back to God's book the authorized version of King James Bible I'm going to say that that'll help you out now if you have something else differently hopefully you're not confused or, or, or misguided by that that's all I have to say um, but <clears throat> you want something that's clear and understandable that's simple and easy to read and that might not always be the um, uh, the words that you speak in common English today. It might be something that you might need to see in the authorized version. But um, I don't know. Whatever your Bible choice is, I hope you, I hope the Lord leads you to understand what you're reading, even though it might be wrong. Um, these other these new versions I'm talking about. But I'll just keep it at that. But, um, oops. anyway, just wanted to get that out there real quick. Just wanted to kind of reassure, uh, uh, what's that word? Just want to kind of let everybody know that put your faith and trust in God for all things. Go into His Word and see what He said. Because the thing, there's too many, we're, we're, we're like bees in a cup. You know how sometimes you get a bee in your cup? He can't get out of the water because the only thing he knows is from side to side. That's all he knows and he gets the water stuck in the water. He doesn't realize he has an opening. All he can do is fly straight out. But he's not perfect to do that. Let's don't be like bees or yellow jackets. You know what I mean? Let's be, let's use what the brain and God has given us to know when to look up. Just as well as we look from side to side or horizontally. We can always look up to God for what He's done to Jesus Christ our Lord. Hope that's helped somebody. Anyway, God bless, take care. And if all else fails, basic instructions before leaving earth, the Bible.